Good evening, everybody. Praise the Lord. If you can and you're seeing this and you have time to sit down and listen to the word that the Lord's given me tonight for what I believe to be hundreds, if not thousands of people uh, that could potentially join tonight, I'm going to ask that you guys share this as quickly as you can. And let's get the message of the gospel out. Let's get what God is saying out. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I'm so glad that you guys are watching. Tell me where you're joining from. Let me know where you're logging in from. Praise the Lord. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Tina. Praise the Lord. So good to see you guys this evening. Hi, Robert. How are you, brother? Crystal, good to see you. Praise the Lord. Hi, Debbie. Praise God. Y'all let me know. Hi, Teresa. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let me know where you guys are watching from. Hi, Donna. How are you? Kansas is in the house. Ohio. Praise God. Ohio. It's, isn't it amazing to see what God has done, what God is doing? Hi, Tina. South Carolina. Praise the Lord. Hi, Stacy. God has taken the gospel tonight all across the world. Kansas City. Missouri, praise the Lord. So good to see you, Robert and Christy Stowell. Praise the Lord. How are y'all? Jackson, Mississippi, glory to God. Ricky Coates, my brother from another mother in North Carolina. Praise the Lord. Jack Pittman, how are you, my friend, my brother? Glory to God. Hi, hi, Brooke. Montana, what a beautiful, beautiful place you live. Wow. Raleigh, North Carolina. I hope to see you guys again. Praise God. Just love those people in that church out there. Texas, Jeffrey. Hey, brother. How you doing, Indiana? Praise God. San Diego, DB. How are you, brother? Hi, Bobby Joe. How are you? North Carolina is on strong tonight. Jim, how are you, my friend? Mississippi. Praise God. Well, if you guys will... Share this as much as you can. Invite somebody. And now Facebook offers the feature to start a watch party. Uh, if I said that right, with, that, with all my Southern slang, watch party. Yeah. Uh, I'm wanting to say block party. Not that, right? Amen. Watch party. So you guys can start a watch party with your friends. Invite some friends. Tag somebody that you know would like to hear the answer biblically to the question... Does God still answer our prayers even though we're still flawed, right? Even though we are absolutely, I don't care who you are or where you're at, I don't, I, or, or how sanctified or righteous or holy you think you are, we all sin. We just do. But I have met, listen to this, so many people that struggle with as to whether or not God will forgive them, God will answer their prayers, heal their sick bodies, restore them. I have heard so many people over the course of time struggling, and even in a period of time in my own life, struggled with as to whether or not in this current position that we're in as believers, knowing God, and still falling short from time to time, does God forgive us? Does God still heal our bodies? Are we doing something, saying something, have we sinned in some kind of way that would cause God to no longer listen to our prayers, to no longer come to our rescue? Because, you know, a lot of people feel like when they get sick in their body and they cry out to God, well, I'm not good enough. I, I've not, I, I, yeah, listen, let me explain it to you like this. You say, well, I, I'm going through some things. I'm sick in my body. And when I pray, I don't know if God's going to heal me or not because I've sinned and I know that I've sinned. You know, we are our, our worst critic like we are our worst critic we're we are so judgmental by nature not only are we critical and judgmental toward people that we see but we are critical and so judgmental and dogmatic and harmful to ourselves so listen to what i'm going to say tonight you i want to answer this question and i want you to share this tag somebody because there's people out there right now that are wondering as to whether or not God is going to heal them, restore them, set them free, continue to use them. There's people out there right now that are wondering if God will still use them and because of how they've fallen short. 
But I'm going to tell you right now, there is an answer for this, and it's a good one. And I think that the enemy has lied to God's people for way too long, and I think that he's put us uh, in a position to feel like we can't be used, that we can't, that we're not going to be uh, forgiven, uh, we're not going to be restored, we're not going to be healed because of some of the things that we're going through, and, and it's just, it's it's just not true. It's it's not true at all, and I want to instantly, as I look on here right now, and I see how many people are joining on. I know that this question is relevant, and I know that the answer is going to help somebody. There's so many people that are dealing with this. Please share this. As I get situated here, I don't want to miss anybody. I'm making some adjustments here on my computer. Guys, listen to me. The devil has ran over us for too long. The enemy has beat us up for too long. And I'm telling you right now, just as I live and breathe, that God is wanting to bring forth a word tonight that will flat set the captive free. Amen. Listen, just say amen. If you're with me tonight, say amen. Get charged up. Get fired up. Share this message. Tag a friend. There's people right now that are struggling within themselves and they feel like they're not good enough. You feel like you're not doing well enough. You're sick in your body and you're feeling like God's not going to heal you because you don't deserve it. And I want to tell you something. This is what it is for the most part. The mercy that God shows towards his children is the reason why God is still going to heal your body. You say, Pastor Andrew, you mean to tell me even though I have sinned, even though I'm struggling, even though that I have fallen short, even though I've been going through these things and I've not been perfect, you're, you're telling me that God is still going to answer my healing prayer? You're telling me that God is still going to help me through this stress and this anxiety even though I have fallen away? I've fallen short? I'm telling you that the mercy of God is the answer to this question. Listen, mercy by its very definition is compassion or forgiveness shown towards someone who it is within one's power to punish or harm. If anybody could harm you, if anybody could punish you, if anybody could literally take supreme authority over your life and change the very landscape of everything that you know, it could be God. God has it within his power to change the course of of your path. He has the ability to change and transform and just re-landscape everything that you know. But because of the mercy that he shows, because of his mercy, he's looking at the situation that you're in and he's evaluating everything. And because God is a righteous judge, the Lord is still going to move on your behalf. It's in his best interest that you do well. It's in his best interest as a father and as a king to do good by you, to do right by you, to restore you, to deliver you. And it has nothing to do with whether or not you've been good enough. It has nothing to do with whether or not you've earned it. It has nothing to do with whether or not you've worked hard enough or you, you've, you've, you've passed out Bibles or tracts or you've been out feeding the homeless. It has nothing to do with your works. I'm just going to blow some people's minds, probably make some people mad because there's a lot of people out there right now that are trying to work their way to heaven. And I'm telling you right now, it has nothing to do with your works. It has everything to do with the mercy of God. It has everything to do with the simple facts, simple yet profound, amazing, beautiful fact that Jesus Christ loves you and that God is showing mercy on all those that he encounters. Or should I say, that encounter him. So I want to ask you this. Are you struggling tonight? Are you struggling tonight with whether or not God is going to hear your prayer? Are you struggling with whether or not God is going to heal you? Maybe you're believing God for a healing in someone other than yourself. Maybe you're believing God for a healing in, in your wife, your husband. Maybe you're believing God for a healing in your children and you're standing before the Lord tonight and you're struggling with this because you feel like you've not been good enough. You feel like because you've sinned, God is going to turn his back on you and let you suffer. 
I'm here to tell you tonight that's not the kind of God we serve. If Jesus was going to do that, if our Father was going to do that, he would have done that the day that he made the decision to send his only son to die on a cross for me and you. And the Bible says that Jesus died on the cross even yet we were still sinners. Even yet while we were still sinners. Friends, I want to tell you right now, this life is a struggle. It's very taxing. Uh, you can grow weary and weak mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. Every aspect of an area of your life is going to be tried. Every area of your life is going to be tested. And not every time is it gone. You know, I've heard a lot of people say, I'm going through this, or, or let me say this. I've, ha I've heard a lot of people say, God is putting me through this sickness and disease to teach me something. You're wrong. You're wrong. And for your sake,